Does anyone else like automatically open TikTok? Hey, hi, welcome to or welcome back. This just feels so weird. Normally I just press record and start talking. So this just feels like formal. I guess it should be formal. Anyways, welcome to my channel. I'm Leela Thompson. I'm an artist. I go by LM Tweet online. Yes, it's an L for my initials, LMT, LM Tweet. Welcome to a video. This one is gonna be less chaotic. This is part two of my chair painting video. So if you didn't watch the first one, go ahead and watch that. This is a little bit more serious because I'm gonna be explaining like the concept of it. It's not gonna be very long. So let's get into it. Get into it. I'm a painter. I'm making art. If you don't know, I graduated college in May and I'm taking the next year off to do art. This is like kind of in a series of videos of just my journey through this next like 12 months. And at this point, it's like five months. Time is going by. We're almost done, guys. It's like I feel like I'm on this path. This mo I'm moving in some direction. I don't know where or what that means or if it's good or bad, but I'm moving in that direction. I think it's okay. I think it's pretty good. I'm enjoying myself. Hey, so um, I'm going to try and finish. I mean, take a shot every time I say I'm going to try and finish this today. If I took a shot every time I said that in my head, I would be blackout at the end of every single day of my life but i am going to try and finish her today she looks really great i just need to like flesh out this touch up a bit of other things and it's 11 o'clock already it's fine brick it's already 11. it's okay it's okay it's okay it's okay, it's okay. Um, yeah, we're working on this today and that's about that. Kind of in that theme, on September 18th, Ruth Bader Ginsburg passed away and that left a vacant seat in the Supreme Court, which now at this point has been filled. So the seat is no longer empty, but it was empty for only about a month. I get a lot of requests on TikTok because I do paintings kind of about Black Lives Matter and racism. So I've gotten requests to do people like Breonna Taylor, Ahmaud Aubrey. So I've gotten requests to do those people. I get them periodically. And I got a few requests once Ruth Bader Ginsburg passed away to paint her, but I don't really do mem memorial paintings. That's what I kind of call them is like memorial art. I don't do that. Maybe in the future, I don't know. It's just not what I'm doing right now. But I saw how it affected people. I mean, that was what got me up and moving about George Floyd was how it affected people. It wasn't the actual thing that happened itself. I'm numb to that. I've seen it happen a number of times in my life. It's nothing new to me. And for me, that instance was no different than any of the others, but to so many other people, because there was such detailed documentation of what happened, it was so much more upsetting to a lot of people. My reaction was to other people's reaction and the same thing with RBG is I saw so many people react to her in such a visceral way. So I was like, oh, people actually care about this. Wow, that's pretty cool. Um, because it seems like a lot of time people don't care about these things. There were some other ideas, I guess, in the background too of my mind, getting ahead of ourselves. So then I was like, it might be kind of cool to just do a very simple, mini series of empty chairs and seats from this past summer because a lot of the work that I'm doing now is like reflecting on the events that have happened this past summer. I mean, you could, we, there will be textbooks on the summer of 2020, the year of 2020. I mean, that's just a fact. And I'm taking the perspective of looking at it through protests and racism and things like that. So that's like my narrow, it's not even that narrow, but that's like the scope in which I'm looking at this lens of what has happened. What do you think he wants from me right now at this point in time? What do you think he's trying to communicate? I personally think he just wants attention because that's just the type of person he is. But one can really never tell with these type of creatures. Hey. <laughs> okay, time to paint. We're almost done. watching Bob's Burgers. Normally I put like, when I wipe my paintbrush off from the water, I'll put it on my leg. <laughs> but today we're just 
putting it here. That's on working with acrylics, not oils. Tying all those things in, I was like, it would be cool to do a mini series on these empty chairs that could kind of fit in with the narrative and theme of these other paintings that I'm making now already. And logistically, I was like, they won't take that long. I mean, it's just a chair on a background with words. And they are large. I plan on doing them all the same size. It's like typing on my computer. Milo, no type, stop it. Over the course of like two weeks, it took me like maybe 10 to 12 hours. Milo. Thank you, thank you, buddy. So I posted a video on TikTok, but it was the first one of like an actual art piece where I'm talking about the art to do that, which is really cool because, I mean, I think social media is really interesting in that way, especially TikTok is like, you can have over a million people see your artwork. That just really hasn't been possible before for like someone like me. So it's really cool to see that. I said I was going to be painting some other empty chairs and I got a lot of requests like Naya Rivera from Glee. All of those people deserve all the memorials and all the paintings and all the chairs in the world, but it just doesn't fit in, I think, with my narrative. I didn't want, I don't want the whole piece, the whole mini series to be mortality based. I don't want it to just be like, this person died, this is their chair kind of thing. And I think that's really cool, but that's not what I was necessarily going for with the RBG chair. I just think that I just think that her chair fits into all this narrative because while this happened, all these other things are happening all at once. And they all kind of connect and kind of don't in a weird way. It's like the potency of each event was made more potent by the other things. So they all kind of like intermingle. Intertwine. So yeah, that's my painting. Um, I did that and now I'm doing more paintings. <sighs> Follow me on Instagram. I post on, I'm trying to post there more often. I'm just, I got a lot of things going on if I'm being honest. And follow me on TikTok. <laughs> um, I'm gonna be filming a Q&A video or like, po I posted like a podcast type vlog thing earlier and I want to make one kind of just talking about my process and how it's kind of like evolved since I've started this series because it has evolved. So if you have questions about my process or art or anything like that, drop them down below and I'll be glad to answer them for you. And I'll see you in the next one. You won't, well I won't see you. I'm just in my room staring at a camera with a blinking red light, but you'll see me. You see me, I don't see you. It's kind of weird that way. It makes me uncomfy. But it's okay, I guess. On to the next one. My battery's gonna run out. I haven't even tried sitting in this chair yet. I think we're good. And this I don't want there either. And my battery's already good. So, 